The thriving subgenre of Metroidvania games exists to try to recreate the magic of classic Metroid and Castlevania games. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night achieves this goal better than most because it plays and feels almost exactly like the legendary Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Not all attempts at crowdfunded spiritual successors to beloved games end up successful, but the stars have aligned for Bloodstained. Ritual of the Night is a game worthy of its heritage. While Bloodstained's gameplay is familiar, an interesting new world has been created with its own heroes, villains, and stakes, and not the vampire killing kind. You play as Miriam, an orphan girl with the ability to absorb and wield a ridiculous number of demon powers. A lot of care was put into her design, and she's cosmetically customizable as well. As luck would have it, this evil castle just popped up and it's filled with demons. So in you go to methodically expose the enormous castle map, fight cool monsters, gain experience, and craft increasingly powerful weapons with all the loot you find. We've done this a dozen times in Castlevanias, but not since Symphony have we been able to do it with the power and real estate of a home console or PC and a television. It's clear Castlevania veteran Koji Igarashi and his team put as much content as they could into Bloodstained to make sure their return to the genre was a triumphant one. My adventure took about 20 hours to track down the real ending, which is quite a bit longer than the 12 or so hours you might spend with Symphony. Even after all of that, I'm excited to get back to it because exploring the castle is so much fun and I still have 2% of the map to uncover and more demon powers to unlock. There are some expected and unexpected movement abilities to find that really let you master the terrain. The locations gradually expand from typical haunted castle areas like cathedrals and secret labs to some surprising environments you wouldn't normally expect to find, um, indoors. There are also darkly beautiful sights in the castle that showcase impressive lighting effects and moonlit vistas. Even the save rooms and fast travel locations look great. The enormous wealth of powers and weapons to find means there is a lot of room to customize your own playstyle. I had a lot of success with a good one-handed sword combined with a shield of portraits that float around my body, an arrow attack for when I needed to take out an enemy at range, and a familiar I could summon to help fight. But if you're more comfortable with slower, more powerful weapons, guns, or kung fu, there are options for you to hack, shoot, or kick your way through the castle. The randomness of loot drops means it's not always straightforward getting the tools you want, but Bloodstain never feels like too much of a chore because simply running around slashing monsters is fun. Of course, that randomness is one of the key features that separates these Egovanias from similar games. The monsters are some of the best parts of Bloodstained. From giant cats with demon horns, to horses that can swim underwater, to shredding guitar players, there's always something fun to kill while exploring the castle. Some of the bosses will be familiar to people who played the 8-bit prequel game Bloodstained Curse of the Moon last year. Having played that spin-off, it was pretty cool seeing those characters return as gigantic 3D models. All characters are capably voice acted, and they even got Solid Snake himself, David Hayter, to voice a significant role. If we are to come to an understanding, this is how we do it. Both English and Japanese voice tracks are included, something I always appreciate for Japanese-made games. The soundtrack was composed by Castlevania veteran Michiru Yamane and Mega Man veteran Ippo Yamada. It's a very nice score that evokes classic Castlevania adventures, but I don't think it matches the mastery of Symphony of the Night. I'm still humming that game's tunes 22 years later, and I don't see Bloodstained's music sticking with me the same way. There is no shortage of good Metroidvanias these days, but Bloodstained does show that Koji Igarashi's particular brand of Igavania still has teeth. Exploring the castle's many secrets is a delight, and there is a dizzying array of weapons and powers waiting to be bent to your will. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, one of the greatest games ever made, finally has a worthy successor on consoles and now on PC. Quick heads up, the Switch version is having major performance issues at launch, so maybe hold off for a few patches before diving in on that one. For more on Bloodstained, check out the first minutes of gameplay, plus our review of the Castlevania Anniversary Collection or Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. And for everything else, keep it right here at IGN.